Hey, Cameron McKenzie here. I want to show you how to list branches and switch between them in GitLab and in Git as well. So as you can see, I've got my GitLab project right here. There, the project is called Git Branches Example. And if you want to actually switch between branches in GitLab, well, that couldn't be easier. You can see it says I've got seven branches right here. What branch am I on right now? I think I'm just on the main branch. And from the main branch, you can see I've got three files. One, two, three, Adam, Baker, and Carol. Now, I could always switch between branches here. I'll come over here and say I've got seven different branches. Which branch do I want to move to? Well, I could see a number listed right there. The development branch is the one I'm interested in. There's the default main branch. It says I've got more active branches. If you want to list all of the GitLab branches, well, you just say show all, and there they are. There's all of them in their beauty. But right now, I want to move to development. Actually, I don't know if I actually was on main. I think I saw that I was actually on a different branch. But there's main. Adam, Baker, and Carol. Now I actually want to move to a different branch, so I'll go back up to my repository, click on branches. Let's see what the people in the development branch are doing. We go over here and we see, oh, it looks like they've added a file. They've got devo.html. So there you go. That is how you switch between branches in GitLab. Now, most people are wondering not about using the user interface, but how do you actually do that over here from say a git bash shell what are the commands so I've cloned that repository I'm gonna go git bash shell right here and I'm gonna do a, a git status see what branch I'm on it says I'm on the hotfix branch and you know what I don't want to be on the hotfix branch I want to be on that main branch so how do you list all of the branches well just just git branch will list all of the branches that you have and have checked out locally have, that you've used before in your local environment. So it looks like I've used all of these. I mentioned that I wanted to be on the main branch. So to move to the main branch, you just do git switch main. And boom, I'm on the main branch. See that it says main over here. There's no doubt that I'm on the main branch. Let's see what happens if I switch to the develop branch. So I can say git branch again. It'll tell me all of the local branches that I have moved to. I want to move to development. I'll do git switch development I'm gonna do an LS command and look I don't have that Devo file just so you know if you end up getting out of sync so my development branch locally is no longer in sync with the development branch over on the server I can always do a git pull origin and look at that it says hey we're just gonna update you give you another file if I do an LS command you can see I've got Devo. So anyways, that's going a little further, but that just shows you how you can actually uh, pull some files in case you get out of sync. Now, it is worth mentioning that even though Git branch says these are all the files that I've used locally, there are a couple of extra files, extra branches on the server that I've never used. Um, and those are still available. I can move to them. But notice there's no support and it looks like there's no release fix. Now, I'm always your support if you ever get in trouble, but you can see over here on the server, there's a release and a support branch. And so right now, since I've never used them locally in Git Bash, those are referred to as remote branches or remote tracking branches. And you can always see the list of remote tracking branches. You can go git branch dash r, and this lists the remote tracking branches. These are all branches that exist on the server but may not have been pulled locally and you can see release and support well those are both floating around that I can access now as I said those are remote tracking branches my local git environment has a reference to them it's just I've never used them um, you'll notice that release isn't up here but if I ever say git switch and move to the release branch it's going to say, yeah, you've got all the rights in the world to move to that release branch. And if I do git branch again and list them all, this is going to say, yeah, that release branch is right there. I still don't have the support branch, but I've moved to the release branch. So 
all you have to do to get one of these remote tracking branches and make them local is just move to it. Now you'll also notice that I'm using this switch command here. Switch is the new way to move between branches that was released in Git 2020. You may see people using checkout and checkout and switch has essentially the same function. It's just not quite as confusing as checkout. A lot of people thought checkout meant you know locking code or locking files and it doesn't do that. But uh, I've never moved to the support release. If I want to actually move to the support release, I'm going to show you the git checkout command. It's the same as switch, except it's different. <laughs> That's not a very helpful statement. But notice I can do git checkout support. All of a sudden, I'm now on the support branch. And if I do a git branch command, you'll notice that support is now not only a, a locally available branch, but uh, it is also currently the branch that I'm on. And so that gives you an idea of how to list branches. Now, I did a git branch command, and I did a git branch dash r command, and that lists all of the remote. You can actually do a git branch dash a, or dash dash all, and that lists everything. So you can see up here, boom, we've got all of the local branches, and then down here we've also got a list of all of the remote branches, boom, right there as well. So git branch dash a can give you everything. So git branch, that will give you your local branches. Git branch dash r, that will give you a list of your remote tracking branches. And then git branch dash a, well, A stands for all, and that's everything. And so there you go. That's how you can switch between branches in Git. That's how you can list your branches in Git. And it also shows you an idea of how you can move around in the GitLab interface and switch between branches in there as well. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitLab, DevOps, tools, enterprise software development, and you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And please, subscribe on the YouTube.